Hello and welcome back to another doujinshi review from White Album 2. Now today we have kind of a full story art doujinshi which is extremely well done and this goes through the events of the introductory chapter which is nice. It's rare that you find uh, a doujin that isn't kind of post game or in a separate universe from the game. Uh, this is really what went on in the very beginning. So it's kind of nice and refreshing. Let's take a look. So here, and a difficult font choice there because it blends in, but this is lyric to you, my dear. So we can see Kazusa and her lovely piano fingers, <laughs> just kind of imagining it. Uh, and playing here, the beautiful sunset behind her, uh, because she often did practice well beyond when the sun went down. So kind of symbolic and thematic here, wearing her school uniform. So we have Lyric to You, My Dear. This is presented by Nataku Gayuku. So, starting off here, just kind of how the Light Music Club began, started off, worked together. Uh, and Kazus is kind of imagining all this and remembering all this happening. To you, my dear. She's saying, oh, what is it now? So, the book pretty much follows canon, or at least it's relatively similar uh, to what actually goes on. So this is after the Light Music Club has already been formed. Takia and Kazusa don't necessarily get along, but they put up with each other. <laughs> I guess that's all we can ask of them. Sits in a gorgeous as usual. Takaya and uh, his most recent girlfriend getting fed by her before Kazusa <laughs> decides to burst in on him and call him a uh, Cretan. Returning his notebook. They start getting along, uh, Kazusa and Haruki start getting along a lot better. Uh, and Takia does take note of that. And I think that this is a lot, it's symbolic of the same way that it was written into the story. Takia was always the character that noticed uh, more than others. And this kind of focuses on a lot of his thoughts, which do occur in the game, uh, and he does spell it out. Uh, but in this doujin, it kind of shows what had gone on and how he was able to figure all of that out. The love triangle, which Takia kind of understood uh, before those that were in the love triangle kind of figured it out. Kazusa hiding her notebook to herself as she did in the game. Apologizing and trying to keep her notebook from the teacher. And then scribbling down their song. I love this. I love, especially, I did love it in the game as well. Um, when Kazusa was so focused and so motivated on doing something new and kind of revitalizing her love for the piano, I do love that this uh, doujin touches on that because that's so inspirational. And then Setsuna wearing the school festival outfit and just asking, what? It's Kazusa's original? And being very happy about that. Although in this doujin, uh, they did find out about it a little bit sooner. It was less of a surprise last minute. 
But then there it has this as uh, basement. I guess you would call it a basement. Her music basement telling her, yes, this is an original song. They're so cute. And this pretty much plays out exactly as it did in the game. Uh, Setsuna's so terrified and scared in the beginning, thinking she got left out. Uh, but then Kazusa reassuring her, no, like, we did this for you. It's so sweet. And then we have a bit of a time skip to the concert. And I love, this is a full page photo and it's beautiful. It's so nicely done. We have Kazusa there on the base. Setsuna there. Just, it's so nice. Even Haruki. Haruki is looking cool. I think they stole a lot of inspiration of this pose from the closing chapter when we see the picture of the three of them and he was the only one that posed in a cool way because he didn't know it was supposed to be a funny cute picture so yeah just really nice it's cool to kind of have this uh, as a fan of the original base game just having it follow the storyline uh, but drawn by a different person and it's just it's really cool Instead of Yamaha, it's Wahaha. <laughs> White Album does that a lot, covering up the brand names or bleeping out the brand names. <laughs> and of course, Haruki, after he had fallen asleep, after having that sort of fight uh, with Kazusa, the half-asleep mumbling fight, that was so sad. And that's ultimately what kind of split these two off right before he got with Setsuna. So this is a big scene. I think it's a big underrated scene, too. And then Setsuna waiting outside. And of course... Kazusa snuck a little kiss there. Hmm. So sad. So cute. And then moving on here, uh, we come to... <laughs> And this is extremely common with these doujin artist uh, circles. Uh, but this was a Straussburg trip that they took. And they also took uh, Alfine. Alfine is another doujinshi, uh, which we have reviewed in a different video here. Uh, Alfine was talking about the Straussburg trip. So kind of cute that they decided to take all these pictures holding that other doujin. <laughs> You can see the big Christmas market, uh, which is a big part of, well, a big part of White Album too, uh, but also a very famous tourist attraction in Strasbourg uh, in general. So cool that they got their own photos uh, and included them like this. We have a teeny little after story here, uh, which is when they were on the roof and Setsuna and Kazusa were talking and, oh, we're going to be friends. We're not going to let a guy come between us. And then... <laughs> Setsuna realizes which uh, Kazusa is well endowed in the chest area and said, oh, after all, you're so big, aren't you? And then, oh, well, because I'm a girl, it's okay. Maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> Some of the cutest panels I've ever seen. Very, very nice. And then just like a mini side story uh, about some demonic girls. Kind of an afterthought probably just they wanted to fill that one last page and then we come to the thank you so and very beautifully done uh kazusa and setsuna to finish us off here uh so as usual you know thank you very much for reading thank you for being here um i did a doujin about a very familiar scene but i hope you enjoyed it which we did. I love it. I don't think you need to constantly do something new in order to be well received in something like this, especially for big fans. 
So this doujinshi came out in 2013. This was done by Xanadu. Xanadu has done a lot of different White Album 2 doujinshis. Uh, so look them up if you're so inclined or if you like the art. You can see uh, their email address there, their website, or their Twitter. And then for the last page, we come to the familiar music room. So this is a White Album 2 Fan Books 5, Natakuga Yuku, 2013 Winter. So thank you so much for joining me on this doujinshi review. We will have more White Album 2 doujinshi reviews in the future. So until then, I hope you take care. See you!